fan on and it blows air uh, up, well, into your bottom <laughs> really, I suppose. Hi guys, Max here from the Car Review Club and today we are reviewing the brand new Kia Sportage GT Line S. Let's go ahead and get started. So, here we are at the front of the Kia Sportage. I think it looks really sporty. Um, the owner of this car is my mum and she got this in this really nice grey colour. Do you know what it's called, Dan? No idea. No. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's got these fantastic LED lights sit in the side of the car. I think it looks really aggressive from the front. You've got this bumper here, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the new Audis that have that kind of grill with the three splits in it. Um, I think it looks really cool. Of course, you've got the things like automatic folding mirrors if I lock the car, it folds straight away. You've got rather large alloys, so the car actually feels really nice to drive, but we'll talk about that when we go for a drive in the car. Let me know what your thoughts are on the front of the car. I think it looks really, really cool. So I'm here with my dad. We've had the car for a couple of days now. Or you've had the car for a couple of days now. And you wanted to talk to everyone about one really nice feature that you noticed. So go ahead, dad. What did you find? Hi, everybody. Um, well, one of the really bugbears of mine is, is that most manufacturers, uh, when they have alloy wheels, uh, the alloys on the car, they actually are flush with the tyre, which means generally that uh, if you get near a curb, you're going you're to curb your alloys, certainly cur curb them. However, on this particular uh, model, you can see here that the the, um, the wheel here sticks out, and the actual alloy is actually built inside in into the actual uh, more more into the centre of the the, the the wheel. So it means that when you when you're going to hit the curb, you, this is going to hit the curb rather than your alloy. I wish more manufacturers would do that because most manufacturers manufacture the alloys to come flush. Uh, with the uh, with the with the rim of the of the wheel, but here they're actually they're set nicely back, so you're less likely to scuff your wheels, which is a really nice feature. Lovely. And you had a Megane RS as well. You've got a Megane RS as well, don't you, Dad? I I have got a Megane RS. And, and how my... much did that cost you to repair your to repair those exact alloys, pretty much from a? Well, well, these alloys are just alloys. They're, they're not diamond cut. Mine ones are diamond cut, so they'll cost me about hundred pounds uh, plus that to get repaired. And I have scuffed three out of the four already. <laughs> That's good to hear. Thank well, you. my car, my Audi has these kind of alloys and I got a quote back to repair some of my damaged alloys and they're going to be about £60 plus VAT per alloy. I'll leave a link in the description of the people that we actually have gone to and used. They're based in uh, they're based in Watford. But yeah, you know, the good thing about this feature is that obviously, as my dad was saying, it's less likely to have any damage to the alloy because it sticks out less than the tyre. So you should be able to be fine with that and hopefully save yourself a couple of hundred pounds uh, versus someone who has alloys that could get scuffed pretty easily. So guys, let's take a little look inside the car. We're gonna try and figure out what this button does. Like I said, we've had it for a couple of days, but once we do, you'll be the first ones to know. Um, so <laughs> going into the interior of the car, it looks really nice. It looks very similar to the Key EV6 that I did a review on um, a couple of months ago, which you can go and check out. I'll leave a link to that as well in the description. But the interior and, and the build quality for a car that's so affordable, and obviously not one of those premium you know, German car makers like Audi, Mercedes, BMW, it feels really nice, really sturdy and really secure and these seats are awesome they've got the uh, gt line badge in here they're fully leather or yep yeah, fully leather which is lovely and they look really really comfy in fact dad why don't you go and have a have a seat in it and, okay uh, in. yeah fine here we go oh really comfy yeah fantastic yeah. so you, you told me something about the seats about the uh the air conditioning Tell well me about that. well they're actually perforated um under here you can see that here you see where the perforations are. And there's actually a button here, which has got a little fan. Can you see a little fan with a little seat button? So in the hot weather, if you get really hot, you can put this fan on and it blows <laughs> air uh, up. Well, into your bottom <laughs> really, I suppose. And makes you nice and cool. But it's got heated seats as well, doesn't it's it? It's got, yeah, it's, it's this little button here above here is a heated seat. It's got a heated steering wheel as well. Wow. Heated steering wheel, heated seats and air-cooled seats as well. So and it's all come standard on the uh, GT line? GT line S. On the GT line S, it this, has this all is, these This is the top of the range well. GT line S. Fantastic. And one feature that I noticed if we come around to the back here is, aside from all the bundles of space, apologies for the mat here, we've got a dog. Um, but what you've got is you've actually got 
heated rear seat. So for those of you who have kids or who take passengers with you on long road dronies and it might be cold in the car, you're not the only ones now who get heated seats in the front. You can also have heated seats in the rear. So really nice feature. But while we're back here, you can see oodles of space. You've got your climate control right there. Again, fully leather the seats back here. And I really like this door handle as well. I mean, it looks really nice and the quality is just fantastic in the interior of this car. So we're here at the back of the car and it's got what's called a power assisted boot according to my dad. So dad, what, what is that? What does it mean and what does it do? Well, it, it kind of means it's power assisted really. Um, so what, what most most boots you, you press a button, you get to lift it up and it can get so high that sometimes if you're not tall enough, you have difficulty reaching it. With this one, you just basically uh, touch, touch the button here it beeps and it opens up automatically for you. Wow. Um, and it's actually got quite a, quite a big boot space. Um, it's also very it's flat, also with the um, with the lip here. Uh, and this is this is and this you can change them to a different level as well. It's got some space, lots of space underneath for nicks and knick knick knacks and odd odd bits and pieces you want to put in there. So there's lots of storage space in there. And you can also, with these uh, buttons here, with these flaps here, you can actually fold down the seats without actually having to press a button on here or whatever. So, so that, that's a really cool feature. The actual, the other thing is that this can be stowed in here, in this, in this bit here, um, away, if you don't want to, if you, if, you, if you don't really like, like having this in your car. And then obviously to, to close the, um, the boot, you just press this button. And it, and, it, and it closes for you. Wow. Hey guys, so my dad's going to talk you through a couple more things about the interior, but I thought I'm actually going to go around here and I'm going to go and get in the uh, passenger seat so you can see what it looks like from a passenger perspective. So let's go ahead and get in here. Hi dad. Oh. Okay. Hello, so dad. we're in the interior of the Kia Sportage and uh, yeah, there's a couple of things you want to talk about in here as well, isn't there? Yeah, I think with a lot of cars nowadays, they're going on this touchscreen uh, business, you know, with the, um, the heating control and everything, you've got to fiddle around. Again, here, it's really nice. Uh, you've got um, normal heating controls. In fact, so this is like a dual purpose uh, display. So um, oh, yeah. this this button here will change the um, display to, to your functions for your, uh, your, your touchscreen. So you can go into map here, touch that, you can see you go into map navigation and um, you can go into radio um, again you, so, so that's this this does all, all that um, and then obviously you can press home and go into your your home and you can you can scroll it's really nice touch screen yeah it, it actually you know it work, works really nicely there's, there's not really much lag uh, and then if you press this button here this fan it actually changes now wow. to um, to the heating display so now these buttons now are the uh, dual, dual zone climate controls. Um, you've got auto climate, so you can actually reduce the, the speed that comes out at. Um, you've got your front um, power, quite, quite a powerful um, fan. And then you can, you know, you, you can then use, use the buttons to, to increase your, you know, increase your, um, your temperature, uh, which is great. You know, no, no fiddling around with, you know, touch screen stuff or basically, controls that are on here which, which don't even light up in the uh, in the evening you can't even see um Cooper Performance mentor i'm talking to, talking about you um so yeah so it's, it's it's really nice again here everything's at hand you've got your nice um drive-by-wire control so you just need to turn this to, to reverse neutral drive and park you've got your drive mode here um uh, which again um changes on here to echo sport those are the two modes you have. Pretty um, neat, really, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. The, this has also got a really nice uh, rear camera, rear parking camera on here. If I press this button here, I'll just show you what I mean. Um, it's really uh, good, good quality. So it's a, it, it, you know, it's, it's not pixelated. You know, it's a really clear image. And here you can see all around you as well. It's got an all around image. Um, so, which is brilliant actually when you're parking, you can see exactly how, how close you are to cars, um, how far you're getting to the, the rear of the car. It's a really, really good um, 
it's a it's a really good display. Um, it's so, awesome. Yeah. And I'm, I must say that from being in here, like the build quality is, is second to none. You'll yeah. see you'll see on the Mercedes ones how you know some people have wiggled this center console and it actually moves and they've wiggled the buttons. Obviously, there's no buttons to wiggle here, and it, it gives way a bit. But here, everything is just so well built in terms mm. of the quality. Even the steering wheel, you know, it's fully fully leather and it's flat bottomed as well. It makes it a lot sportier, which is great. You've got a multifunction steering wheel as well. I like the fact it's got actual buttons rather than touchscreen buttons. Mm. And those are other cool things. But I must say that this this feature where you can literally switch between your climate control and your navigation just from the click of a button is just fantastic. I love that feature. I don't think you're going to find a car with as much tech for the price of this on the market right now. And if you think you can, put it in the comments and we'll have a look and we'll obviously try and review it. Um, yeah. So the other cool, really cool feature of this Kia Sportage is the indicators. Now I've shown this on the Kia EV6, and again I think this is only on the top GT Line S range. But when you indicate, if you want to indicate, Dad, you see here that it actually shows you what you're indicating at. So you know that's actually a camera that's showing me what's right of me, and if I indicate left you'll see that I can see exactly what's left of me. So when you're on motorways or if you're in busy traffic and you want to see what cars are coming up behind you and you know you don't have too much visibility in your rear mirrors, this just helps you know, to a great extent for you to just know and be aware of what is around you, which is a fantastic feature. I really, really like that. Okay, so we're back here in the driver's side and the last really cool feature about the Kia is one, it has two memory modes right here. But if my dad goes ahead and turns off the engine, um, what will happen is it will actually move his seat back so he can get out of the car a lot easier. Do you want to go ahead and do that, Dad? Show everyone. There we go. So now it's moved back so he can get out of the car. This isn't his normal seating position, but then if he was to get back in the car and turn the engine on, you'll see it actually moves him forward to where he would normally sit. So for those of you who find it hard to get out of the out of the car sometimes because the steering wheel is in the way, this Kia is a game changer. It reverses you out of your seat, lets you get out easily, and then it moves you forward when you're ready to drive. Really cool. Well, thanks guys for watching this quick overview of the new Kia Sportage. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like and go ahead and subscribe. We're on the way to get to a thousand subscribers. Thanks to all of you who have helped us get to a hundred thousand views now across all our videos. If you'd like to see any more information about this car, if you have something that you want to ask me, feel free to do so in the comments and I'll go ahead and answer it or I'll get another video made and show everyone how those features works. But until next time, have a great day.